to all of you. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you very much uh, for coming in. Um, as I always tell, uh, you know, uh, especially the media support has been phenomenal uh, for Hello Curry. I, if I were to consider Hello, Hello Curry just a baby in terms of its uh, its birth and as well as the time that we have taken so far, uh, from the time point of view and also the age point of view, was, was definitely a baby, um, about 18 months old uh, company. Uh, but uh, you guys, uh, you guys know it, um, especially in the last 18 months, how we have progressed, uh, strength to strength, um, and how we are uh, really, really meeting the commitments um, of how we have been. We have been consistently talking to the media, and uh, I'm very happy how you guys have supported us so far. Um, so today, I think uh, uh, this. In this entire 18 months journey, if I were to say one thing that is extremely exciting um, and one thing that is extremely radical and uh, one thing that is very, very innovative in the food industry, uh, which, we, uh, which I wanted to develop, you know, exclusively explain, is about a kitchen in a commercial kitchen, so which we otherwise call it as a kick. Um, kick is a very positive connotation. Uh, generally, people, uh, whenever, uh, whenever you are so very happy, you say that you no, know, you get a kick. So, in the same lines, um, I'll just give a very small uh, example in terms of how the kick was born. So, when uh, when we had uh, some investor meetings, the very same day, um, myself and a couple of others went to a restaurant. And uh, when we were eating around 4 o'clock, the entire restaurant was so dry, right? So obviously, most of us know the restaurants have very specific time periods. For example, restaurants operate between uh, probably 12 to 3, and they're empty from 4 to 7, and then after that, the dinner time starts. And then the shelf life, or generally how the restaurants, uh, the life cycle of restaurants, when you take the restaurants, any restaurant starts off, with, a, with an extremely ambitious plan, with uh, so much of exciting offers to the customer, with so much of variety, so much of the menu. I'm talking about the restaurant being a brick and mortar. But naturally what will happen is they go to the peaks and they go to a steady state, which means, uh, for example, a restaurant starts with about 10,000 rupees per day sale to maybe about a lakh per day or probably two lakhs per day sale. But however, when you see the restaurant's infrastructure, which means kitchen, kitchen's re restaurant's kitchen, Obviously, they set up the kitchen with an ambition of it touching the peaks, which probably is about 3 lakhs or 4 lakhs per day sale. Generally, everybody creates a kitchen that can accommodate most of the spikes that they don't even anticipate. So, when they build up such an infrastructure, what will happen is, when the sale go to steady state, which means, okay, they are steadily earning about a lakh per day. And then, the kitchen is actually accommodative of about 3 lakhs per day sale, which means the delta, that uh, lakh per day to 3 lakhs per day sale, there is a 2 lakhs of delta, which means they should be able to take the additional load, but they are not taking because there is no sale for them. It is not there is no sale for them because they have reached the state where they are happy with their uh, revenues, with that they are happy with the profitability. But with this uh, concept of kitchen in a commercial kitchen, what we try, what we are trying to do is, Hello Curry's kitchen is a very, very small. We have remodeled our entire kitchen, uh, saying that, okay, we just will, we have drafted the entire kitchen such that it can go and fit into any space. For example, a, a restaurant has a kitchen of uh, 250 square foot. In that 250 square foot, we just ask about 25 to 30 square foot or sometimes about 40 square foot, maximum. And in that 40 square foot, imagine Hello Curry operates same from the, from the kitchen, and they also operate because they are into restaurant business, they are primarily into dine-in. And Hello Curry is primarily into uh, online delivery. So obviously the benefits that you are seeing here, for the restaurant, Hello Curry is giving a fixed commission, saying that, okay, for each 100 rupees that Hello Curry makes from this kitchen, we will give you some fixed revenue, for some fixed uh, profitable revenue. So there is a revenue sharing. So what will happen uh, for that restaurant? They pay the rentals. Generally, restaurants, most of the restaurants, rentals are very, very higher. That is where the most of the people, we all know that. 
you usually when whenever there is a restaurant on the good location the the rentals are very higher so with the same rental for example a person is paying about a lakh per month as a rental in the same rental if two kitchens are operating if two restaurants are operating right one is a home delivery and second is a uh, walk in restaurant dine in restaurant so obviously their revenue stream will not change and in addition to that hello curry is giving them additional revenue which means for example if a restaurant is doing 10 lakhs uh, per month sale if hello curry does about 5 to 8 lakhs per 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 day per month so the revenue is almost 80% increased which means the same kitchen which was doing approximately about 10 lakhs steadily for the last one year now uh, suddenly the capacity of the restaurant has grown and as well as the revenue capability has suddenly grown so the same 10 lakhs uh, uh, kitchens right now are doing about 18 lakhs and with the additional 8 lakhs we have we are hello curry is actually giving them at least some fixed very very good percentage to those restaurant owners so obviously we think that this is the radical shift in the kitchens uh, radical shift in the entire food industry business because obviously when you talk about the restaurant business so i especially we are also in the uh, in the same space food space the profitability is very thin in the food space because you know price points are very sensible that means you have to operate at a very very sense to price points you cannot charge customers a bomb like you know you can charge a biryani 500 rupees so there are some constraints uh, within which restaurant uh, or food industry is operating at so with this kitchen in the kitchen model where two people are operating from the same kitchen i think this is certainly a cut and razor in the entire industry so hello curry is proud to launch uh, this unique framework which is about to be patented we are also talking about it being our proprietary framework and in the same journey what we thought was we have recently acquired uh, about a couple of months ago mukesh is also here the founder of paratha post uh, hello curry has made couple of acquisitions in this journey so uh, 3 months ago we acquired paratha post it, right now today i'm very happy to launch hello paratha which is a formatted version of uh, paratha post earlier uh, it was operating only in hyderabad now with this kitchen in the kitchen model hello paratha uh, we we are very proud to announce today uh, hello paratha is actually launching in um, in about four states 21 outlets at the same time so this is also one more record in the food industry so we have talked about two major things one is a kitchen and a commercial kitchen which is a very very revolutionary radically different uh, model in the food industry second is we are creating a hello curry is creating a record by launching paratha uh, hello paratha in 21 cities in four states on the same time and same day so this is absolutely record in the entire food industry so in the same journey when we are launching the hello paratha <clears throat> when i spoke with uh, the gentlemen here uh, who are sitting next to me uh, who are the founders of eatsum eatsum is a most powerful um, brand in pune so they have been in the operations uh, from several years and they have acquired huge loyal loyal customer base in pune so when they came to when they wanted to start off in hyderabad so we we had discussed about you know what do we want to do that's when i shared the kick model with them it's so very exciting that when they they took some time to understand it i just proposed hello paratha will be operating from your existing restaurants so that is where the same kick model we are talking about and they took little time because suddenly when you talk about i'll also be going and you know sitting in your kitchen suddenly there is an encroachment people think that you know these guys will encroach me in you know, a total you know we know all those all those uh, unnecessary complications so when we proposed uh, our hello paratha kitchen be sitting in the same kitchen say same same restaurants i think for them to understand probably takes couple of minutes but the moment they understand the business economics they didn't even turn back they said okay we definitely are game for this we are very happy to launch hello paratha i am very thankful to both siddhar and as well as Bis, uh, bisunad Uh, both of them are here the most successful entrepreneurs both of them are and the the people who accepted appreciated the concept of kick i would give them the most credit because if uh, i were to announce hello paratha is being launched in 21 uh, outlets uh, their contribution is almost like 50% so we are launching hello paratha is now launched in 12 of the pune outlets simultaneously at same what one day so in this uh, phenomenon um what i would highlight there are a couple of points that i want to highlight so one is first of all uh, for hello paratha if it were to operate on its own there is a capex which means we need to buy the equipment uh, super uh, super duper equipment 
and also we have to search for locations. We also have to identify, you know, or we have to even do the setup cost. That means electrical work, plumbing work, all of them have to be in place. So with this kick model, with uh, they kindly accepting uh, our kick model, now Hello Parata is able to operate in 21 uh, outlets, which for uh, an entity of Hello Parata, it takes at least several years. Not even I'm not talking about one to two years for an for an entity for a business entity or in the in the restaurant space if anybody has to operate in 21 outlets it takes at least five six years to them so with this kick model we are able to open 21 21 outlets approximately about two weeks time frame so about 15 days we are able to open in 21 out and 21 outlets so I think that is where the major uh, uh, thing also that I would uh, want to proudly announce uh, in this discussion. So alongside uh, the kick model and as well as the Hello Parata launch, Hello Curry is very happy to announce uh, that we are spreading across India right now. We just started the journey as a very, very small garage setup uh, just exactly 18 months ago. One corner of Hyderabad, a very, very small, tiny location in Hyderabad. And right now, we are operating almost all across Hyderabad. All critical locations Hello Curry is operating. Hello Curry has become most powerful brand in India. And we went to Bangalore. We had a little struggle in Bangalore for the first three months. Now we have taken a very, very steady takeoff. Um, Bangalore is really, really picking up. And then now uh, with the Hello Parata, Hello Curry's presence is also there in Pune. And now we are actually looking at Delhi and as well as Mumbai very soon. So in my next discussion with all of you, I would, uh, I would be able to share with you in terms of how we are expanding further. But I think at this uh, stage, uh, we are proudly announcing uh, Hello Parata launch today. Uh, in about 21 outlets.